I just purchased this man's entire video game collection. This is the most money that I've ever spent on a purchase. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if it was the right deal to be making. I spent a lot of money. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll show you exactly how much I spent and what I think I can make in profit once all these video games go on to sell. What I'm gonna do in this video today is take you through every single one of the 11 different video game categories that I was able to source items in. And I'll show you what some of the good ones are that hopefully you can find when you're out on the hunt next. So first category that we're gonna get into is the Xbox. So all up, there was actually a total of 47 Xbox games and I was only actually able to go and list up 18 of them onto my eBay store because I was setting a benchmark of $15 plus and 29 of those games didn't quite reach that mark. So the Xbox games are always typically a, a video game category that doesn't sell that well for me. There aren't too many grails in the category, but it was still really nice to get a big allotment of 29 that I can put together with an Xbox console, maybe a 360 down the line and make some decent money out of it. So it's not a lost cause, it's just games that I'm gonna be putting to the side until I get that console to bundle up. But out of the 18 games, there was $395 worth of revenue to come out of it. Uh, some of the really good games in the mix, um, Hunted was a really good game, number one at $45. It was $45 because it was brand new and sealed. Uh, Destroy All Humans, that was $30. And then there were a few others around that sort of $20 to $25 price point. The PlayStation 3 was the next category and there was actually only five games. It was a really small allotment of PS3 and that's okay because I don't really have too many grails uh, that I've found in the past in the PlayStation 3 category. So out of the five games, uh, there was just one for $15, MotoGP 08. Um, I've listed that up for, for 15, but the rest I'm just gonna put aside again for yet another bundle. The PlayStation 2 games though, there were a whole lot more of those and it was really cool to see so many. A total of 44 PlayStation uh, 2 games that came through. It was $215 worth of revenue for 10 of those video games. So working on about an average sale price of $21.50. Some of the best PlayStation 2 games that I was able to find was uh, Tomb Raider, that was $25. Starsky and Hutch was worth about $30. Uh, but the best of the bunch was Extermination. I actually hadn't heard of the game Extermination, never used to play it. Um, so for $40, I thought that was um, pretty unique. Hadn't seen or heard of that one before. Um, so to see it go for 40 bucks, I'm pretty excited about that. This is where things really start to heat up though. I have a bunch of PlayStation 1 games in this haul. There were a total of 32 items and they were all in great condition. I've got to say, the condition of all of these games have been excellent so far. And uh, I don't think there's any fake games in there, which was an initial concern when I went ahead with the purchase. Um, I was unsure if they were genuine, but uh, through speaking to a few people in the community, uh, the first one obviously being Figsy. Um, he's got an awesome channel. Make sure you go and check him out. He helped me a lot with my confidence in going ahead with this purchase. So thank you very much, mate. Um, but we've got the PS1s to have a quick look at. There were 32 of them. The, va the value of the PlayStation 1s, it's one of the best categories I love to sell. Uh, a total value of $1,400. So, so many good games. I was able to list all of them up. The best that I've got in the bunch, I'm actually putting Kingsley's Adventure at number five, only because I had a, a bad copy. Um, there was a, a, a genuine deep crack uh, in, the, in the disc and it was still able to go on to sell for $60, which I thought was pretty crazy. Um, but it does go for about $160 if it's in good condition. I had a couple of Metal Gear Solids and Special Missions as well for Metal Gear Solid. Two of those have already gone on to sell, but they're worth about $90 each. Uh, Wu-Tang Taste the Pain, that's worth about 100 bucks. Resident Evil's 100 and Vagrant Story, you can get a little over $100 and that was the best PS1 game uh, that I got. So some crazy money in the PlayStation games after what was a pretty slow start with the PS3, PS2 and Xbox. We've been able to pick it up here with the PlayStation 1s. Now, personally, as a kid, I really only played with the PlayStation and the Xbox. That was it. That was my childhood. All of these other categories are games and consoles that I have personally never played before. We're going to have a look now at the Sega Genesis. This is some real old school type gaming, uh, some real retro gaming from the 1980s. Um, a couple of the winners that we had in here. First of all, the, the Sega Genesis, there was a total of uh, four games that I was able to pick up. It was about $95. Uh, worth of value so there wasn't any too crazy in this category i found crusty's super fun house that was worth about 30 dollars, and then bubsy as well that was worth about 25 bucks but um that, nothing really too crazy to report in that there weren't too many of them either the sega saturn was a pretty cool category to see as well um, there were some great games what i really liked about the sega saturn uh, allocation of seven games that i got every single one was a really good disc no scratches whatsoever and they all came with their manuals which is meaning that I'm gonna get my top dollar for whatever they were on eBay, I should be able to price match that 
and get that. The total value was $365 for these seven Sega Saturn games. And the best of the bunch, uh, well, Man Man Manex, Manex TT Superbike, I think it's called. Uh, $50 for that one there. Rally Championships is 60 bucks. And Mortal Kombat 2, of course, a, a ripping game, that one, $100 was the, uh, the resale value of that. So that was really cool to see. All right, the Nintendo GameCube now. So many cool games in this Nintendo GameCube category. We had a total of 11. It was $430 worth of resale value. So pretty much about 40 bucks per game in this lot here. The best that I found though, a 1080 Avalanche, the snowboarding game. I actually usually don't anticipate sports games to do really well. Um, and this one came through at $50. And there were multiple comps for it as well. So that was exciting. Resident Evil Zero, that was $50. Resident Evil for $50 as well. Uh, Soul Calibur 2, that was going for $50. And the best of the bunch, another sporting game that I really would have discredited if I'd even seen it out in a thrift store, a Beach Spike is the volleyball game. It actually goes for $60, and it was the best of the Nintendo GameCubes that I was able to pick up. The NES category now was crazy. These games always sell so fast on eBay, and I never, ever come across them when I'm out in the wild. So to be able to pick up a haul of 25 of these was just incredible. Total resale value, get this, $1,255 for these 25 games. So a huge average sale price. Really stoked to get my hands on these. And some of the best of the bunch, Gunsmoke was going for $80. Mega Man 3 was another $80 game. Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, that was worth about $80. Uh, then we had the boxed games, which was really cool to see. The box games are always worth a whole lot more money. Um, so we had Donkey Kong Classics, that was going for about 100 bucks. And then we had the, uh, the Super Mario 3, the absolute, almost probably the best of the bunch at $150. So that was really cool to see too. Some big money in the NES category. The Super Nintendo category was next, and there were a total of 15 games in this allotment, and I had $475 worth of estimated resale value. And that one there threw up some pretty good games as well. Some absolute classics, Super Mario Kart All-Stars, that was worth $45. We had Super Ghouls and Ghosts uh, in the mix as well. That one came to 50 bucks. Power Rangers is a $50 game if you can find that. And Donkey Kong Country 2 as well is a $50 game. So some absolute classics. Super Mario Kart for $70, rounding it out as the best of the Super Nintendo games. The Sega Mega Drive is the next one. And we had so many. We've got 21 Sega Mega Drive games. I've never sold a Sega Mega Drive in my life. So to be able to now have 21 to put into my store is really, really exciting. The total value of this is $1,035. I deemed four of them to be just too damaged to list. They weren't that great. I'd rather just save myself the trouble and just put them aside. They were all $50 games, unfortunately. So I think they'd just been played so heavily um, that I did have to just leave them behind, which is unfortunate. But uh, you can still sell them in just sort of um, unused condition, or sorry, uh, in poor condition. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, but the best of the bunch in these 21 Sega Magic Mega Drive games, these were some of the best of the day. Um, so Dr. Robotnik's uh, was an $80 game. We had Double Dragon 3 as well come in. That was in good condition for $100. This Sonic and Knuckles device um, was also going for $100. I don't know too much about that device. So I'm going to have to do a bit more research. But there was $100 in that. And then the two absolute classics on the Sega Mega Drive. Some really rare games, these. We've got Sparkster for $120. And we've got Rocket Knight Adventures for $120 as well. So those two games worth $240, which I anticipate once I do get around to listing them up, about 60% of these games are on my eBay store right now. I'm still working through the rest. These ones aren't on there yet, but I do anticipate the minute they go up is the minute they will sell. They are generally what happens with the rare games. I've got three games in this allotment. It was really nice to see some pretty good games as well. Uh, we had a total of... $155 for the three games. And the best of the bunch was Mortal Kombat Trilogy. That one goes for $80. Super Mario 64 for $60. And Star Wars Episode One Racer for $25. So that goes through our 11 categories that I, uh, that I had. I thought I'd break them up. I thought it would be the easiest to break it per the category. And I've got some final numbers for you. When you add up all of this, all of this crazy video game allotment that I'm able to pick up, I do want to say as well, it was off Facebook Marketplace for those that are interested. Uh, there was a buyer out there that was looking to get rid of his gaming collection. I got in touch with him, actually through a viewer of the channel because he knew that I was Gold Coast based. Um, he didn't have the money to do the purchase, but he said, Matt, you might want to do this and it could be a, a cool video. So that's how the deal has come about. 
The total estimated resale value, when you add up all of those figures, I've got the numbers here, it works out to an average sale price of $40 per game for all of the games. Now, there were so many uh, spare PlayStation 2 games and Xbox games. So out of the 218 games, there's 147 that I'm gonna go on to list. And then the remaining sort of 60 to 70 games will just go into bundles with consoles. Um, so I'm not counting those, I'm just counting the 147 games that I'm gonna be listing up for an average of $40 each. That works out to $5,835. So $5,835 worth of value. What have I actually paid to get my hands on this? Drum roll, I paid $1,000, which is the most I've ever paid. I think the most has ever been about 600 in the past. So as you can see, spending $1,000 on this lot of games was very nerve wracking to say the least. But having seen the quality of these games and the great titles, and that the fact that a lot of them do have their manuals and they are in really good condition, ready for resale, I think I should be able to get close to this $5,800 and that's gonna leave me with a profit of around about two and a half thousand. So two and a half grand for a thousand dollars purchase. Do you guys think, let me know in the comments below, do you think this big buy, the biggest buy that I've ever done is, is a purchase you would have made if you had that thousand dollars to invest into something like a, a video game purchase? I would love to know in the comments below. I'm gonna leave you with a video right here, guys. Appreciate you tuning into this one. This was a really good Facebook Marketplace pickup that I had a few months ago. Uh, so go and enjoy that. We'll see you in the next vid.